Hi, I'm Dr. George Parada, Medical Advisor for the National Pest Management Association, here today to talk about rodent infestations and the effects these pests can have on your health. If you've ever dealt with mice or rats in your home, you know it can be an unpleasant experience. But what you may not realize is that rodent infestations can be dangerous to your health. When rodents invade our homes, the accumulation of their feces can spread bacteria, contaminate food sources, and even trigger asthma and allergic reactions in humans. This is especially concerning when you consider the fact that rodents defecate constantly, so their droppings can accumulate quickly. Once fecal matter has become dry, it can be hazardous to those who breathe it in. In addition, Rodents can bring other pests, including fleas, mites, ticks, and lice, indoors. One of the most common bacteria spread by rodents is salmonella, which causes a type of food poisoning spread by rodent feces, especially through the consumption of contaminated food. Rodents are also known to spread rat bite fever, a potentially fatal infectious disease spread by infected rodents or consumption of food contaminated by rodents. Another disease rodents can spread is the bubonic plague, also known as Black Death. This is the deadly disease that is notorious for killing one-third of the European population in the Middle Ages. While plague is much more rare today, there are still several confirmed cases every year. Humans can contract plague when they are bitten by fleas that have fed on an infected rodent. Although rare, the white-footed deer mouse can also transmit hantavirus to humans. This potentially life-threatening disease is spread to humans through exposure or inhalation of infected rodent urine, droppings, or saliva. Recently, 10 people fell ill and three died from exposure to deer mice infected with hantavirus after staying in tent cabins at Yosemite National Park. If you suspect a rodent infestation in your home, it's important to be on the lookout for symptoms associated with illnesses rodents can cause. The symptoms of salmonella include diarrhea, fever, and abdominal pain. Rat bite fever symptoms usually occur three to 10 days after exposure to an infected rodent and include fever, vomiting, headache, rash, and muscle pain. Bubonic plague, meanwhile, can cause fever, headache, and painful swollen lymph nodes. Early symptoms of hantavirus include fatigue, fever, and muscle aches. People may also experience headaches, dizziness, chills, and abdominal problems. If you or anyone in your home displays symptoms or has health issues associated with rodent infestations, seek medical attention promptly. Be sure to tell your doctor if you believe you've come in contact with rodents or their droppings. Treatment for rodent-borne illness varies depending on the illness and its severity. A doctor may take a blood, urine, or stool test to confirm the illness. Salmonella infections usually resolve in five to seven days and often do not require treatment other than oral fluids to treat dehydration. Rat bite fever and bubonic plague usually require antibiotics and in some cases intravenous fluids. There is no specific treatment or cure for hantavirus infection, but patients often require intensive care where they are placed on mechanical ventilation and given oxygen to help them through the period of severe respiratory distress. It is critically important that anyone displaying symptoms of hantavirus seek prompt medical attention. Thanks for watching this episode of Health Checks. That's all the time we have for today. Please visit pestworld.org for more information on health threats associated with rodents. <music>